So today I'm gonna show you guys how my camera setup looks like because I think there is not much info out there and this might help somebody. And this video is gonna be mainly for people that want to get into shooting skydiving videos or for camera flyers that want to know a little bit more about my setup for whatever reason. So I jumped the Tone Flight 2.5X. I love this helmet. It's a great helmet, super comfortable. So if you wanna try this one out, you definitely should. Also the 2X is a great helmet for getting into flying camera. For video, I jumped the Panasonic GH5. I love this camera as well. I use a 12 to 35 f2.8. I'm gonna get more in details why I like this camera for shooting skydiving videos in a bit. I use a ring side. If you don't know what a ring sight is, this is basically like a scope that you can aim, you can align the center of the ring sight with the center of the camera with some help and you can frame your shots properly. I have an audible right here and another one in here, so two theaters. You should definitely get at least one, even if you're not shooting video, if you are just skydiving, any kind of discipline in skydiving, an audible is super helpful, so definitely get one. I have a cutaway system, so you know, safety. If you have any kind of entanglement, any kind of malfunction, you can get rid of the helmet and save your life. I also have a blow switch right here. I use this for taking pictures with this port. This, I think this is a multi-port, I believe that's the name. Multi-port that goes into my Sony. I don't use this one for shooting pictures. It sucks at shooting stills. I use my Sony a 7 IV, which I'm using right now for shooting this video. And it's a great camera for shooting stills and for shooting video as well. I have the base plate for a steel camera. I think that's the name, base plate for a steel camera or something like that. I'm gonna link everything that I'm using in the description of this video so you can check everything out. So for the base plate, you have to make sure you're getting the right one because they have different sizes for different cameras. You can also get a bracket that goes all the way to the front of your helmet that you can mount your DSLR and your GoPro there. And I do have my chin cup in here, so I don't actually jump my chin strap when I'm jumping my camera. I just actually swap them. However, I do like my chin strap way better when I'm fun jumping or when I'm coaching. I feel it's more comfortable than the chin cup, but I mean, that's just preference. So yeah, that's basically my setup. And the reason why I jumped the Panasonic GH5 is because I have been using this camera before I started doing skydiving videos and I absolutely love this camera. For the price that you pay, you can get a beautiful image out of it. You can shoot in 4K, 4 to 2, 10 bits. And if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, I'm gonna link a few videos in the description of this one that they are going to explain more in details some of this stuff that I'm gonna be mentioning in here because I don't wanna make this video a super long half an hour video. So if you wanna know more what I'm talking about, you can check the videos in the description. But basically, 4 to 2, it means that you're getting a lot of color information out of this camera that you can play with in post. If you like color grading at all, you can make the image look even better. And if you don't like to put the extra time for color grading every single footage, you can even throw a lot on top of the sequence. And if you don't know what a lot is, I'm gonna link a video in the description that explains that. But basically it's like a filter that you can make your whole video look better or, or different or like in a particular way that you want. You can download a few ones for free. So it, even if you don't wanna put the extra time in color grading, you can make your image looks better or looks different than normal by using a lot. So you don't have to put the extra time and you can still get a beautiful image out of this camera. And if you don't care at all about post-production, about color grading, you don't have, you don't need to get this camera. You can get any camera that doesn't shoot in four to two. Also, the in-body image stabilization of the Panasonic GH5 is just great. You get a pretty stable image out of it. It's not gonna be anything close to the GoPro at all. It's gonna be shaky footage, but at least you can work with it in post. You can do some stabilization, which I do in every single of my footage when I'm using the Panasonic GH5 because it's gonna be shaky, but at least you can work with it. This is probably not the best one out there, but it's really, really good image stabilization. Also, the dynamic range of this camera is just great and the image quality is just beautiful. You don't have to do much with it. I always use an ND filter so I can lower that shutter speed so I can get a more cinematic looking footage. I can get a little bit of that blurriness that usually you don't get in the GoPro. 
And yeah, that's basically it. It's a great camera. I love this one. However, the Panasonic GH5 is not perfect, of course. And one of the things that I don't like about this one is that you cannot shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second. So if you want to do some slow motion at 4K, you can't. You have to shoot in 1080 to do some slow motion. You can do 1080, 60 frames, but I don't care much about slow motion. I haven't been using slow motion too much. And if I do want to do some slow motion, I shoot in 1080. And if you want to see a video about my settings and why I use those settings, you can just comment below and I might make another video talking about just the settings of my GH5 and why I'm using those settings. Also guys, this is the first time I make a video like this one. So if you wanna see more content like this, just let me know, just comment below. If you wanna see a video of my post-production workflow, how I edit, how I color grade and all that, just let me know and I might make another video about that. Just my post-production workflow, my editing, my software and how I do things. I might make another video. This is the first one, it might be the last one or it might be just the first one. Love you, bye. Yeah, no,